How's it going everyone? This is Abe's Card Collection back with another Through the Mail Tuesday video. This week we have eight returns all from Barts Unknown. So your guess is as good as mine. We will find out where they are coming from. But I say we start off in Barts Unknown. I swear I will not be making that joke over and over again. This one does not have a hard card. We have Hey, Charlie Huff, knuckleballer, 1990 tops, 89 Fleer, and OP from 79, and that is pretty, a 1993 tops baseball's finest, gotta love that, that card looks great, I got a couple of these at the local card shop, that's the first one to come back, 4-4 four four from Mr. Charlie Huff. The 75 year old from Hawaii had 216 wins in his career and 216 losses with 2,362 strikeouts and a 375 ERA. He pitched from 1970 to 1994. Pretty incredible with the Dodgers, the Rangers, the White Sox, and the Marlins. Part of the Marlins' first team there in 1993. Was an All Star in 1986 and was also. Selected to the Texas Rangers Hall of Fame. Checking out our spreadsheet here. We have a 4-4 success. Just 15 days. Thank you, Mr. Charlie Huff. Great TTMer for a long time. We're going to put that baseball's finest from 1993 up. They did remake that, I believe, in 2020. It's pretty incredible. Got to get the glare off that. That glare is going to follow us. There we go. Put these down here and go to our second parts unknown. This one does have a hard card. Hope your mailboxes are full as well this week. We have all right, just almost knocked a bunch of stuff over. But hey, Jerry Don Gleaton, get these out of the card saver. Got an 85 tops Tiffany, an 86 tops. All John 316 on these. And then an 85 tops regular. You can see uh, this one's just a better card stock. The, 80, uh, the uh, tops Tiffany. Pretty nice though. Turned out pretty well. Glossy uh, finish. Sometimes doesn't turn out too great. We got a 3 of 3 for Mr. Jerry Gong Gleaton. I guess he does kind of sign doubles. But he made his debut in 1979 with the Texas Rangers after being a first round pick that year. Finished his career off in 1992 with the Pittsburgh Pirates, but had 15 wins, 23 losses in his career, with a 4.25 ERA and 265 strikeouts. He pitched for the Rangers, the Mariners, the White Sox, the Royals, the Tigers in that final season, as we said, with the Pirates. Checking out our spreadsheet, we have a 3 of 3 success in just 10 days. Thank you, Mr. Jerry Don Gleaton. I believe he is a great TTMer and has been for a while, but this is my first time sending to him. Our next return. Parts unknown, of course. Slice right into there. We have a letter. We have. Hey, Dick Simpson. Pretty cool on that rookie card from 1966. Tommy Helms already inked that up for us. It's got a nice dual sign card, and then we got him here on a 64 tops. Aubrey Gatewood. I, Gatewood, I don't know if he's still with us. I don't think he is. But pretty cool. Two rookies from Mr. Dick Simpson. I don't think he wrote anything on our letter. I am fumbling with it off camera, of course. But it doesn't look like there's anything in there. Just some protection from Mr. Dick Simpson. We are verifying that. Yep. And Mr. Dick Simpson, though, let's talk about his career. Debuted with the Angels in 1962. Finished his career off with the Seattle Pilots in 1969. So he was there for the second year, I believe, with the Los Angeles Angels. And then the only year for the 69 Seattle Pilots. Had a 207 career batting average with 15 home runs and 56 runs batted in. In addition to playing with those Pilots and Angels, he played for the Reds, as you see here, the Cardinals, the Astros, and the Yankees. Checking out our spreadsheet, we have a 2-2 success in 14 days. 
good to get a dual sign card back. Dual sign card deserves a stand. Very nice. Next return got super wet. Oof. Hopefully everything in there is okay. Come on. Abe's fingers are struggling today. Oh, who do we have? Manny Moda. I've had some unluckiness with Manny Moda. I've always gotten the cards back, but either the envelope's been wet, one time it wasn't sealed, but that's a pretty cool 77 Tops card. And a 72 Tops card. Cards seem fine, and there's a 63. I believe that's his rookie. Don't quote me. Maybe he has a high number in 62, but Mr. Manny Moda spent 40 plus years with the Los Angeles Dodgers organization. Came up as a player in 1962 with the San Francisco Giants. Then was traded over to the Pittsburgh Pirates from 63 to 68. Spent a year with the Expos and then finished off his career with the Los Angeles Dodgers where he was also a coach after his playing career. I think he was with them from like 1969 all the way to 2013. Pretty incredible. Two-time World Series champion with those Dodgers, both as a coach in 81 and 88. As a player, though, selected to an all-star team in 1973. He had a career batting average of 304, 31 homers, and 438 runs batted in. He is a part of the uh, Caribbean Baseball Hall of Fame, inducted in 1998. Pretty cool. Mr. Manny Moda got back to a 3-3 success in 14 days. Very nice. Some pretty cool signatures. And next one. You already know it's parts unknown. Just cut into it. We have a rookie card. We have Jose Cruz Jr., current coach of Rice University. Got him here on a pinnacle from 1997. Got him here on a very beautiful 2003 Topps Chrome. Very nice card. And then an upper deck vintage, I believe, from 2004. Look at you, Abe. Got that one right. Three of three success. How do I display these in my hand? I guess we'll just do one of those. I can't cover up the signature on that card, though. That Topps Chrome is beautiful with the blue on blue on blue. Mr. Jose Cruz Jr., as we said, is the current manager of the Rice Owls. I believe he was the hitting coach of the Tigers right before that, but had a very long playing career with the Seattle Manor Mariners, Blue Jays, the Giants, the Rays, the Diamondbacks, the Red Sox, the Dodgers, the Padres, and the Astros had a 247 career batting average with 204 home runs and 624 runs batted in. Won a gold glove in 2003. A lot of power, a lot of speed. Mr. Jose Cruz Jr. got back to us. 3 of 3, 12 days. I know he's not as accomplished as guys like Manny Moda, but that card is absolutely beautiful. That blue on blue on blue. Next part's unknown. Let's see here. Jeez. All right. I'm gonna make sure I don't cut in any cards. It's kind of old. Oh no way. Beside. Oh wow. It is wrinkled. But it's a thick card. Look at that. Jason Veritek. Wow. Okay. This is an oldie, but wow, Jason Veritek, okay. Was not expecting this. This was kind of one of those ones where you just send it off and you hope, you pray, and now you get lucky, but spent his entire Major League Baseball career with the Boston Red Sox from 1997 to 2011. He was a part of that big trade. He was actually drafted by the Mariners. I think he came over with Derek Lowe for um, a closer to the Mariners. And that trade worked out pretty well with the Red Sox because he helped them reverse their curse in 2004 and also won another World Series with them in 2007. He was a three-time All-Star, won a Gold Glove in 2005, Silver Slugger Award as well. He's the Golden Spikes Award winner in college in 1994. He's a part of the Red Sox Hall of Fame. He had a 256 career batting average as a switch hitting catcher with 193 home runs and 757 runs batted in. Two to success. 300 in two days. I cannot wait to get this card encapsulated. That is so pretty. Man, Allen and Ginter was really nice back in the day. Yup, that's... 
I think that's going to be my favorite card. I'm just going to go out on a limb. I know we have, what, two left, but holy smokes. All right. Get it together, Abe. Whew. We got another return here. We got two more to go. This one's got a lot going on. It's, it's thick. We have a letter in here. We have a letter request. And we have Roy Jefferson. All right. We got there. Sorry, that, that, that air tech kind of flabbergasted me. I sent that to the Red Sox where he's the coach. But what about Sweet Pea on the 73? Sweet Pea on the 70. Sweet Pea on the 69. That's a really clean Sharpie. And Sweet Pea on the rookie from 66, Philadelphia. Wow, that's good. That's a good card. And then he sent his own card. Pretty nice. It's a little big for a top loader. I like to shave down the edges. Don't do that on real cards, just custom cards. But wow, check out this. Five of four. He used a brand new Sharpie. I've seen some people people get a sweet pee back and he just signs a lot. So sometimes that Sharpie's a little dead. We got lucky though. But sweet pee, Roy Jefferson. Play with the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Baltimore Colts, and the Washington Redskins in his NFL career, which spanned from 1965 to 1976 after being a second round pick out of Utah in the 1965 NFL Draft. Won a Super Bowl with those Colts, Super Bowl V, was a two-time second-team All-Pro, one-time first-team All-Pro, and three-time Pro Baller in his NFL career. Led the NFL in receiving yards in 1968. He's a part of the Pittsburgh Steelers Legends team, the 80 greatest Washington Redskins team. He was a first-team All-American in 1964 at Utah. He had 52 receiving touchdowns in his NFL career with 541 receptions and 7,539 receiving yards. That's a lot. That's a hefty career for Mr. Roy Jefferson. And we have a 5-4 four, four, four success in 59 days. Thank you, sir, for your autograph. Whew. All right. I'm sorry, Jose Cruz Jr., but I got to bump you for this rookie card. That is not the easiest card to get. Let's see if he wrote anything on the letter. I don't believe he did. He did not. Just a nice little uh, protection scheme there. And we have our last return with a hard card in it from Parts Unknown. Alrighty. Got another letter in here. Oh, I think I know who this is. Bob Aspromonte. What a gentleman. Got him here. Oh, wow. That's a good looking signature on that 63 tops card. Got him here on a 68. And we did, oh, we sent four. 64. That is clean. And then a 71. Very nice. Thank you, Mr. Bob Aspromonte. That 64 is, oh, man, I don't know. 64, 63. Those are some pretty cards. But Mr. Bob Aspromonte from Brooklyn, New York himself. He was, he's one of the last living Brooklyn Dodgers. He got into one game, I believe, in 1956 as an 18-year-old, maybe 19. I believe he was 18, though. That was his debut in September of 1956, and his final appearance was, was with the New York Mets in 1971. He played with those Dodgers, the Houston Colt 45s, who later became the Astros, of course, the Braves, and the Mets. He's a part of the Astros Hall of Fame. He has a 252 career rating average with 60 home runs, 457 runs batted in. And Mr. Aspermonte got back to us. 4 of 4 success, excuse me, 5 of 4 success in 14 days, just like Mr. Sweet P. Jefferson. That is a. That's a lot of cards. Jeez, we did a lot of 4 of 4 and 3 of 3s to this week. We got pretty lucky, but. Parts unknown! Pretty cool to get a dual sign card back. Sweet P there and oh, Jason Veritek. That is amazing. But thank you for watching, everyone. Hope your mailboxes are full. Bye for now.